Alexandra. We began by figuring out what eight days could really mean. Together we searched for the purpose of you and me. It is difficult to describe the feelings I felt for you in those few short days in paradise. Best way to describe it is simply love at first sight. <laughs> With my poems and rhymes aside, my love only grew for you when we left the conquest. Geographic distance and separation made me cherish every single moment that I got with you. And as I stand here before you, I have those same butterflies that fluttered on each flight to see your beautiful face. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, God. Thank you for the covenant of marriage and the way that you've divinely brought Tristan and, and Alex together in this way so that we could celebrate today uh, their, their holy union before yourself as well as these witnesses. When they met, they actually met on a cruise that I was not invited to. I have my whole family. <laughs> My whole family went on a cruise and I wasn't on it and I come back and Tristan's like, so I met this girl and I was like, all right, and he's talked nonstop and he said, am I crazy for going after her? And I said, go for it, dude. Funny story, when they first met, um, I went to Fort Worth like a week or two after and she was like, so I met this guy on a cruise and he's really into me, but I don't really know. And I was like, really, Alex? And we FaceTimed through the weekend and I could tell Alex was like, there's, I don't know if there's something there. And I was like, there's something there. So we got in the car to come home and I told Clint, I was like, they're going to get married. Watch. And he was like, how do you know? And I was like, I don't know. I just know. And here we are. If somebody would have told me about a year and a half ago that I'd be sitting here today standing by Tristan and Alex on their wedding day, I would have told them they were crazy. And I've been thinking about a lot about that, and I really think that that's kind of the beautiful thing about love, is love is crazy. When I try to describe the love between me and my wife, I, I can't describe it in words. And I'm, I'm happy for Alex and Tristan, because I think that they both found that. I promise that I will always be willing to compromise, to work through our differences, and never go to bed angry. Coupled with your beauty and radiating smile, you are the most caring, loving individual I will ever know. I admire your thoughtfulness and your ability to turn any situation into the most fun I've ever had. Headlamps in Irma, freezing in the new year, and two-stepping all over your toes without a single complaint. <laughs> And lastly, I promise that you've had my heart from the first time we met, and I will never ask for it back. It belongs to you forever and always. In return, I ask that you give me your heart so that I can love it, protect it, care for it, and make you the happiest husband as long as I breathe. And I also ask that you never ask for it back because that would be the one compromise that I would not be willing to make. I love you now and for eternity. 6150, I'm all in. <laughs> I promise to be at your side for our lives, greatest peaks and lowest valleys. I promise to pursue you and forever protect the house of love we continue to build. I promise to grow alongside with you in our relationship with God. I vow to lead and provide for our household. I promise to be the greatest father and role model for the children that will bless our future. As we step into the rest of our lives hand in hand, I vow to make you smile and laugh 
each and every day. Cherish every second we have together on this earth and love you with all my being forever and always. I love you. given to me by the state of Oklahoma, by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Tristan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs>